He's safe. No way. He was out. His hand was on the bag. No. No way. He was there. He was there, and he got tagged out. Now, the officials are going to review this one. Yeah. Hi, guys. I'm Mike Fisher. I'm a big Kansas City Royals fan, as you can see. And I'm Kathy Fisher. I like the Cardinals. Well, I'm going to tell you a story today that deals with authority and rules. Now, this, obviously, because of what we have on, is going to be a baseball story. Now, this is going to be about a man named Babe Ruth. Most of you know him. But who knows his nickname? That's right, Steve Couch, the Bambino. That's right. This deals with the story back in the early 1900s. Ruth was, uh, they had a rule back then that if you hit a home run and you were the home team in the bottom of the ninth or later, it didn't count as a home run if you had a runner on base and he scored ahead of you. Say the runner was on first, which Ruth did hit one in the bottom of the 10th inning in a game against Cleveland against a pitcher named Stan Kobleski. Amos Strunk was on first base, and Ruth hit a home run. Well, he was only credited with a triple because that's all it took to get the runner from first home was him going to third base. Well, one of the uh, uh, reporters in Boston thought this was – a great injustice because he thought this was one of the biggest and longest home runs that Ruth had ever hit. And you know, if that home run had counted, you know, Ruth had 714 home runs. And you know what that would have given him, right? Right, Pastor Keith, 715 home runs. And Aaron would have had to hit another one to pass him. So, you know, that's another story. But, you know, that was the rule of baseball back then. So, my rule and authority reverts to Romans 13, verses 1 and 2. Whoever rebels against authority rebels against what God has instituted. And whoever, do, whoever does so will pass judgment upon himself. Sometimes the officials can't agree. They can't agree about the right call. They can't agree about which rules to follow. They can't agree who is safe. It gets confusing, kind of like listening to the great baseball guru, Yogi Berra, when he would speak. Things that he said, like, we made too many wrong mistakes, or it gets late early out there. Or my favorite, if you come to a fork in the road, take it. Clear as mud. That was Yogi Berra. Clear as mud. So here's our problem. To mask or not to mask? To open or not to open? The rules are changing. The one thing that does not and will not change is the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. So go, make disciples of all the nations. That's in Matthew 28, 18 and 19a. Let's pray. As we bow to you, Jesus, and your authority, boost our faith as we watch you direct all storms, huge and small. We rejoice that your glory is being revealed and as obedient disciples, we can cast your light in muddy places. So shine, Jesus, shine. And that's a game, ladies and gentlemen. Bye, St. Markians.